help you guys with the five habits that we think are foundational to this group working really well. Yeah, so let's, let's break them down. The very first one, care. Now, what is care? Well, it's being for each other. It's being one who encouraging each other, moving alongside of each other. I can remember in a group I'm in, when it was in the beginning stages, it was basically more about content. People were really interested in studying a yeah. particular Bible thing. What does it mean? What does that it was say? really good. It's sort of like being in a class. It was a class but thing. But you don't feel cared for in a class. You don't. And then something kind of happened in a few sessions and people's real lives begin coming out and all of a sudden people begin to say how's your life doing you yeah. mentioned your struggle last week you kind of you see the care aspect and it so feels very, different very it feels very different well you, they started to come alongside each other yeah you really yeah. want to show up the second one the second habit is safety and safety means that your group has this culture of you know you can come as you are mm -hmm. and that means just basically it's a place you can be yourself and you feel safe. You know, when you talk about stuff like if it's the problems in your life or your struggles with faith or God or whatever you're feeling, you know, whatever you're going through, a group needs to know that its members are really safe to put everything out there. Yeah, you're not going to get judged, you're not going to get dumped on, whatever. But we would never judge you. Yeah, I can feel the safety rising I hope you can. in the group. Yeah. Uh, the third one that we talk about is authenticity, just being real. And uh, what I love about one of the guys in our group is he really sets the tone and the pace for that. He just tends to say what's right on his heart and what he feels. He's kind of a, I would call him a you know, super tough guy, but I mean, he's a guy that's very active, you know, sports. And, uh, and he just got elected to a park district, a local area community park district board, you know, and all of a sudden he's realizes that he's going to be the person that gets a lot of the You get feedback. the co complaints. You get the complaints. You get people saying, how come the fitness center isn't the way I like? And this park needs cleaning up. And he's like, I don't know if I can handle this. I just realized I'm going to get all these phone calls. Mm. And it scares me to death. Mr. Tough Guy was being real. He was saying, yeah. it scares me to death. Yeah. I'm, I'm out in the open. I'm vulnerable now. So I thought, wow, there's a guy just saying, here's where I'm at. Well, it gives everybody else permission. It does. When it does yeah. that. So, good. The next one, the next habit is growth. You know, the Bible says in, in Hebrews that we want to spur one another on to good works. Now, in the area of growth, what that means is the group is actually pushing its members to take growth steps, yeah. both around the circle and then in their outside It's not line. just an invitation. It's a little nudge. Oh, it's, it's a, a little shot. heat. You know, it's you, out of the comfort zone. Right. I remember a group I was in where there was a single woman who in her dating life, she, when she got disinterested in the guy, she would just sort of kind of disappear, not return calls or whatever. That was her way out. And the group actually challenged her and held her accountable to and made her go and talk to the guy that she was ending yeah. that relationship with, that uncomfortable. have a conversation, say, you know, I really like you, but it's, yeah. it's not happening for me and I hope you have a nice life, but I don't want to date anymore. And that was so hard for her. But what happened was because of that group's, you know, growth step push, after that, her entire dating life changed. She learned to be more direct. Mm. She was more present. And the other funny thing about it was, which always happens when somebody takes a growth step, she started attracting different kinds of guys and finally found the right one. It goes back to people being willing to, to do that little nudge yeah. and, mm -hmm. and name yeah. it. Yeah, and to name the areas of growth. You know, that and the so if you've got into. care and safety and authenticity, and then and people... You've got to have those first to, right. to be able to nudge like that. So you can shove a little bit yeah. forward and say, go for it. Yeah, because people trust you. Yeah. And then the fifth one would be help. When we show up and just help for each other, that group didn't do how, yeah. too real well how showing would you up like for the need, mover. How would you like Google to it, man. need Google to move it. when the only thing they're telling you is Google? Um, but when people, when people actually show up and help, it's especially... like somebody says, I'm having a bad life. Yeah, man, Google life, dude. I think that, Google you know, bad life. Google bad life. <laughs> Thanks for the help. Uh, I was meeting with some folks for dinner, some couples and their kids, and uh, somebody went, hey awesome person and she kind of went what are you talking about she said well let me tell the story of a few days ago or a week ago and she told the rest of the group how um, this person had showed up and weeded their just their flower beds and stuff because another group weeks. members yeah showed. exactly yeah and and, and oh, she this person she's hitting on the shoulder had done done hers uh, and done those couples and said you know here we were we had this busy two-week run we must have just mentioned it and these people decided to just show up and wow. we mm -hmm. got home, we're like, who we did and took care of our yard while we were out of town and all this. We were behind schedule. Everything was crazy. And she just kind of went, ah, it was nothing. But the, for these people, even though it was a little thing, it went a long way. Life was crazy for them. And, uh, it's, it's, it's think how it stuff. affects the other four elements, too. Like, we're, you know, it increases care. That increases yeah. authenticity yeah. when you do things like these. Yeah. These all work together. And it was self-sacrificing. It was really just kind of, hey, we just want to help you. So Cool.